and gold has been the, you know, our main topic of research for the last uh, 11 years. We still work on gold catalysis. We developed some uh, 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 interesting chemistry we, uh, we were to activate the small molecules, in particular molecules that contain alkynes. Alkynes are functional groups that have a triple carbon-carbon bond. They are quite uh, common in organic chemistry and we can uh, selectively activate this uh, triple bond to functionalize or to trigger complex reactions. We had uh, essentially learned the basics of this uh, chemistry. It was initially totally, I mean, of course, unknown area of research and now we believe that we master the, the way to activate these molecules and to build complex uh, molecular structures very easily from, uh, by selective activation of all kinds. In gold catalysis, sometimes it's important to use the inert atmosphere because the ligand uh, is very sensitive to the moisture or the oxygen. One example could be the synthesis of a gold complex in which we use a solution of the gold source uh, by using dry solvent, dry dichlormethine, and we add this solution to a ligand solution in the same solvent. These ligands for example, phosphides or phosphines, can be very sensitive and for that reason we use it under argon atmosphere. Uh, after stirring for 30 minutes and uh, at room temperature, we will afford uh, the complex, uh, which will be used outside of the um, glove box in, uh, as a good catalyst for transformations. We have focus on the activation of uh, small molecules to build a complex structures in a few steps. And uh, one of the best examples it has been uh, the synthesis of a, of a biologically active molecule, englerin A, that is a bioactive, is anti-tumor compound. And from a, yeah, we developed one of these uh, first total synthesis of this molecule very efficiently, and recently we have developed a medicinal chemistry program to build analog of this molecule in collaboration with a, a group in the US and we hope that one of these molecules would become important in the treatment of uh, some cancers, in particular kidney cancer. In this lab we run reactions with gold complexes. They don't look at all like gold grains. Um, a typical reaction is run by adding um, substrates, so it's these two. and then adding solvent. And last, the gold catalyst. A stir bar. And we cap it so it doesn't run away at night. And put it in a heating block where it will stir. The gold complex reacts with one of the substrates to form a highly electrophilic gold carbene which then is trapped by one of the olefins and in this way we can increase molecular complexity for example to form natural compounds. What we think gold does in these molecules is that it acts like a chemoenzyme. So gold selectively finds the, the triple bond, the alkyne, coordinates the triple bond and then triggers a series of reactions. We had built molecules, natural compounds, in a bio mimetic or bio-inspired way by the using gold as the chemio, chemio enzyme. So gold activates part of the molecule and then the rest of the molecule cyclizes to form a, the carbon skeleton that we want to build very often in just one single step. We have to control also the stereochemistry, so to build just only one stereoisomer the, like, in, like nature does. This is still uh, rather challenging and it's something that we now are trying to, 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 to develop. Another thing that we are now exploring is the chemistry of uh, gold clusters. And the chemistry of these molecules, of these uh, catalysts, of these structures, has not been explored yet. And now we have very beautiful examples, very nice structures, and we are trying to uncover the chemistry of these, uh, these molecules. I think this is a highly promising area of research uh, this is a more inorganic chemistry aspect of our work, but in, in our team we combine organic, inorganic chemistry together with physical chemistry. We use the tools of the, these uh, three areas of, uh, of our science to try to understand mechanisms, to build uh, complex structures and uh, essentially 
to have fun <laughs> discovering new, new, new chemistry. My job here is essentially to be like a, like a director of, a, of an orchestra, so I essentially proposing the, the topics of a research, but the, the, the chemistry is essentially being developed by highly talented students and, uh, and postdocs.